Hi everybody. It is a rainy day here. Um, the energies are kind of just going. I received a few more questions on the last video. Um, and I also had somebody ask where they should drop their questions. So just to clarify, um, the best way to do it would just be putting your questions in the comments of the most recent video. Um, Jennifer Polcaro had asked about her purpose right now, if she's on the right path, and what is the next right move for her. Um, Magna Crystal asked about her soul, and Gray Matter asked if um, it's destined to remain without a partner or a wife. So, um, this is my third attempt to make this video. The first one, the dogs would not stop attacking me. The second one, the sound did not pick up. So I'm hoping that this time it works. Okay. We are here. We are excited to communicate with you once again. Jennifer. We would like to remind you, just as many of the other beings who have ask this question about your path and your soul purpose and so on. You are never out of alignment with where you are supposed to be. You may not feel like you are at 100%. This is wonderful. This is where I should be. But everything that you are experiencing in your life, you've created. So it is up for you to create exactly that which you wish for. Um, as we tune in with your energy, we do sense that you are moving in the right direction. Um, As for your path and where you should go next, we would like to communicate with you more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the way for you to do this is through meditation or automatic writing or whatever resonates most for your soul. You do not need to look outside of yourself. Trust yourself. When we communicate with you, you will not hear a big booming voice from outside. It will be subtle. It may sound like your own. But the information that you receive will be information that you were not aware of previously. It will be information that comes from outside of yourself. So we wish to communicate with you at this time. We suggest that you take the time and set the intention to communicate with us. And if you can't receive the messages in the beginning, do not give up. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicity around you. For we are always communicating with you. And as you move forward, we wish to assist. So take that time, my dear. Get a journal. And just allow the words to flow. Magna crystal. You're vast about your soul.
your soul is composed of many frequencies and light. You possess one unlike many here on your earth at this time. There are many different colors and rays and vibrations of frequencies within you, my dear. In the beginning, there was more of a indigo. But that color has kind of smoothed. It's more lavender now. There is also magenta within you. But you have the capability to vibrate on any ray and any frequency. You are able to move through them, going up and down. And when you take all the colors of the rainbow, There is white. You have a lot of white within you, my dear. This is rare. This is pure. This is source light. Similar to a rainbow, you are able to shift and tune in to many of the rays. That is very beautiful, my dear. Or gray matter. You, you have a beautiful gift. Your expression through the written word is your passion your partner. It assists you and your soul. You are able to receive so much information through the written word. You are guided divinely and assisted and you receive so much. We do feel that longing for the physical partner, for another physical being to walk your journey with. And there indeed is a soul for you. The soul is very pleasant. and will be presented to you at first you may not recognize this soul you may not click immediately but trust and know that the soul will be presented as the creator of your reality you may speed up this meeting, but also know there will be others that present themselves to you as well. They are not the one. There will be much beauty around you, but this soul will be soft. There will be chestnut hair beautiful complexion and a very soft soul, soft words and a very soothing effect. When you meet, the energies will start to trigger and through the written words that you create, you will build your relationship. You will become friends. 
and you'll be able to express yourself clearly through your writing. And this will touch her heart and the energies will flow. It will begin to move in an infinity pattern from her heart to your heart and so on. And it will strengthen and it will grow. And you will indeed find that companion, that passion here within the physical. We would like for you to understand that having this knowing now, do not rush it. Do not fall for the false beauty that will present itself to you. Wait. Feel it here. You will know. And do not rush her. Do not push it. Allow it to build organically and fluidly. Use your words, use your passion to spark and ignite the passion between you two. As a creator of your reality, you have the ability to speed this up or slow it down. So we suggest that you match your vibration to the vibration of when you will meet. Whether it's through meditation or writing, express exactly what it will feel like, what it will smell like, taste like, how you'll know. Create it for yourself. Trust it. Live it like it's now. And your vibration will match that reality. And she will come. Do not doubt, do not fear, for this will push it away. Simply trust and allow for it to come, and it will. Okay, everybody, I hope you resonated with your messages. Um, and if you have any other questions or anybody who's viewing this has a question, just drop it right in the comments. Um, I do have a website. It's called Be Creatively You. You can find it on my YouTube page. Um, and I am on Facebook. I have Divine Essentials page and the Pleiadian Essentials page. Um, so if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can do that. I usually share these videos on both of those. And my personal page is Bridget Rao, R-A-U. Okay, everybody. Have a great day.